Ontario received permission this weekend from Health Canada to exp extend the expiry date on tens of thousands of doses of AstraZeneca vaccine, a decision the federal health minister defended today. They are considered gold standard regulators in the world. They are very, very thorough, and I have full confidence in the regulatory team to do the due diligence. They haven't hesitated to hold back, for example, a uh, um, product that, that, it, it, that doesn't meet their requirements. The doses were going to expire on Tuesday, but Ontario can now use them until July the 1st. Well, let's bring in Dr. Lenora Sachs-Singer, an infectious disease specialist in Edmonton. And uh, so, so first of all, what's changed here, Dr. Sachs-Singer? How could vaccines that we thought were going to expire tomorrow actually be good for another 30 days? Well, although it seems like a very 11th hour change, it's my understanding that Health Canada actually got updated stability data on Thursday, the 27th. That was submitted from AstraZeneca and actually confirmed that those lots have basically are unchanged in terms of quality and content over the time period. And so I think that we should expect that this could happen again, because with updated data, they might be able to extend some uh, some deadlines and allow us to use up available stocks, which is a good thing, actually. So based on what you've seen, do you have concerns about the uh, an increased health risk with this extension? Oh, absolutely not, because if there was any suggestion that the product had changed in any way, they wouldn't have actually given extended expiry date. And this is something that I think has occurred with other vaccines and products as well, because this is a new product and they're going to continue doing stability testing on some of the, you know, on the lots as they go through. So I think that we're going to see this kind of shifting potentially with other vaccines over time as well. All right, Dr. Saxinger, thank you. Thank you.